what are the benefits of the COVID vaccine? Uh, imagine there are 100 children inside the room, then nagpakalat ng COVID sa loob ng kwarto. Without the vaccine, all of the children will get infected. 90 children will have mild illness, 9 will have moderate illness, and one child will have severe illness and will probably die. Pero, if all of those children inside the room are vaccinated, 95 children will not get sick. Only 5 children will have mild illness and no child will die from COVID. Again, take note, no child will die from COVID if vaccinated. Good morning class, I am Dr. Vincent, a pediatrician in Manila. I am invited by Ms. Armian to give a talk to you about the COVID vaccine. I prefer Sana to have an interactive talk because our internet connections are not so good. So I ask na lang Ms. Armian to get your questions and concerns so I can base my talk from there. Hmm, I have 11 questions raised by your classmates. So let's start. So the first question comes from Ferenc Kyle. He asks, how does COVID vaccine work on our body? I hope you are familiar with the vaccines na ginagamit sa health center, like yung measles, DPT, polio, HIV, uh, and HEPA B. Now, those vaccines use some parts of the organism. Kunwari, I am a HEPA B virus organism. Kinuha yung buong braso at kamay ko at yun ang ginamit at inilagay na material for the vaccine. Or like sa measles vaccine naman, yung buong organismo mismo but it's already weakened or pinahina or even dead. COVID Pfizer vaccine is different. It is a new technology. Don't get me wrong ha, when I say new, the method has been there for more than 30 years. So the Pfizer vaccine contains a material called mRNA or messenger RNA. Ano yun? Isa itong genetic code protein related sa COVID virus na ginawa ng mga scientists artificially. Once injected inside the body, that code protein will order our immune system to produce antibodies against the COVID virus. So when the real virus enters the body, mamumukhaan agad ito ng immune system natin at gagawa agad ng antibodies ang katawan natin to fight the infection kahit kaunti pa lang sila. Ordinarily, without the vaccine, it would take pa a few days bago pa mag-produce ng antibodies ang katawan natin and it might be too late for us at magiging severe ang infection. If vaccinated, pagpasok pa lang ng virus sa katawan natin, kakalabanin agad ng immune system natin ang virus na ito. The second question comes from Den. What are the benefits of the COVID vaccine? Uh, imagine there are 100 children inside the room, then nagpakalat ng COVID sa loob ng kwarto. Without the vaccine, all of the children will get infected. 90 children will have mild illness, 9 will have moderate illness, and 1 child will have severe illness and will probably die. Pero, if all of those children inside the room are vaccinated, 95 children will not get sick. Only 5 children will have mild illness and no child will die from COVID. Again, take note, no child will die from COVID if vaccinated. The third question comes from Sachi Sophia. 
she asks, what are the side effects of the vaccine? The common side effects are pain, redness, and swelling on the injection site. If you feel this, just take a rest or apply cold compress. Ano yung cold compress? Punta ka sa ref, kuha ka ng malamig na tubig, ibabad ang face towel, and press it on your injection site for at least 5 minutes. You may do this every 8 hours if you like. The other usual side effects are tiredness, headache, muscle pain, uh, chills, fever, nausea, yun yung parang nasusuka. If you feel this, you have to tell your mom so that she can report it to the doctor. Take a rest, good sleep, eat well, and drink plenty of water. You may ask your mom to give you also paracetamol or pain reliever. Take note ha, hindi advisable to give paracetamol bago magpa-vaccine. Baka kasi humina ang effectivity ng vaccine. Uh, the fourth question comes from Cyril. Does COVID vaccine give you negative effects? Baka you mean adverse effects or severe side effects? Uh, Ang nakakatakot na negative effects ng vaccine are the severe allergy and inflammation of the heart. Uh, the good thing about it is that those negative effects are very rare. It's about 1 in 100,000 or 0.001%. Sa inyong lugar, ang population ng children na kaedad nyo is around 20,000 lang. So that's less than 5 times of the 1 is to 100,000. Probably, mas magiging 0.0002% na lang ang chance ng negative effect. So mas lumit pa ang chances. As compared, if you don't get vaccinated, there's 1% chance of getting the serious illness and might probably die from it. Again, do the math. Sang kapupusta. Which is more safe? The 1% of chance of serious COVID disease or 0.002% chance of serious negative side effects ng vaccine? Edi, doon ka na sa vaccine, right? Ano naman ang mga symptoms ng negative effects? Ito yung difficulty in breathing, very fast heartbeat, and yung chest pain. You observe for this within one week after getting the vaccine. You must tell your parents so you can visit the doctor. Bottom line pa rin sa question na ito, with good monitoring and proper consult, these negative effects can be remedied at once. Etinaman comes from Kate. Is it normal for a person to have a cold after taking a vaccine? Yes, it can happen. That's why it is a must that when you get vaccinated, you need to rest, have a good sleep, eat well, and drink plenty of water. Our sixth student who asked a question is Jana. Are COVID-19 vaccines safe for people with heart disease? Yes, as long as stable ang heart niya, why not? Actually, mas kailangan lalo ang vaccine because once they get infected with the virus, the illness will be more complicated and very serious for them. Of course, that person has to check first with the doctor before getting the vaccine. The seventh question from Michael John, do various COVID-19 vaccines have different effects or are they all the same? Uh, may kaunting differences in the effects and side effects, pero they are all the same in the sense that they provide high protection from death, especially here in the Philippines. May, ga, may bago kasabihan uh, kaming mga doctors. The best vaccine is the one that is available right now. From Divine naman. 
She asks, if a person has colds, is it all right to vaccinate? Kung allergic cold, it's okay. Anyway, pagpunta mo naman dun sa vaccination site, a doctor will screen you first, ask for symptoms, check you up, and we'll make sure that it will be alright for you to be vaccinated. Ito naman galing kay Michael, the ninth question. Medyo natawa ako sa tanong na ito, pero actually, this is a valid question. What happens if I take all vaccines from five companies at once? Well, multiple different vaccines at the same time is safe. Katulad sa health center, where they give DPT, polio, HIV, HEPA B. So, two or three injections yun at the same time. Pero, giving multiple vaccines of the same kind, even if different brands, is not. You can have an immune crisis that can, you, can end you up dead. So, the answer to your question is no. Besides, no doctor in his right mind will give you that. The 10th question galing kay Michael John, which activities do I avoid after getting vaccinated? The common vaccines only require you to at least rest for a day or two. But with COVID vaccines, you are required to rest for one week and monitor yourself for two weeks. Why? That's because COVID vaccine is a new vaccine. Avoid mabibigat na physical activities like going to the gym or playing sports like basketball, volleyball, or badminton for at least a week. Last but not the least question, galing kay Clint. What will happen if I sit beside my classmate who is not vaccinated? Well, Clint, if you are vaccinated and you came in contact with a COVID person, you will not get sick but you might carry the virus inside you and you might pass it on to your classmate who is not vaccinated and he might be the one who gets sick. Sad yun. That wraps up my lecture. I hope mas nakadagdag sa kaalaman nyo ang mga sinabi ko at nawala ang maling akala nyo sa COVID vaccines. Sana lahat tayo mabakunahan na. That way, Malabanan na natin itong pandemya at maging malaya na tayong lumabas at gumala at magkita-kita na walang pangamba. Good day class!